Genki. My uncle just kidnapped me. Locked me up. What? Dude, are you okay? I had to fight him. Then I said, I, I told him, we're done. For good. I'm sorry. That's... That can't have been easy. It's what I had to do. I'm headed to the Science Center. Call me if things get bad in Harlem. I will. Good luck, Spider-Man. You see him close renovation, and the underground moves right in. Finn's gotta be inside. Hope I can be there to see the explosion. It'll change everything. Finn's ran the city for years. After the plaza, we'll take it place. the dust.
barrier they had at gym theater. I need to drain the generators. In those shacks, which are locked and powered down. I need a new power source. Yeah, this'll work. Got it. Sticky and conductive. This is gonna work. Man, glad we didn't see that. That's one. Feeling good. This is working. A couple more. Yes. I saw one more. I can't believe how well this is working. Grounds toys. science fair, getting to show off our converter here. We were so proud. <sighs> Underground cash. Up there. Vin? Come on. We need to finish this. You and me. Gotta be with our project, down that hall. our project while we're still young Welcome to the Oscorp Science Center where tomorrow's innovation is today's reality. I'm coming I'm coming Hey where'd they put us I've got the museum map on my phone our projects in a special exhibit on the top floor can't wait to see our names on the little sign like real scientists today the Oscorp Science Center tomorrow every major museum in the world This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure-proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today, suits such as these are used by salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. Since the mid-20th century, Scientists have envisioned human habitation beneath the sea. Looking out your window, someday you might see the brightly striped clownfish, or even the menacing anglerfish. I'm naming that one Howard. You name one. 
Uh, Leviathan. Love it! Think underwater living sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, we could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What, you scared? Of sharks, the dark, tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me. This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep-sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. <laughs> you and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Didn't you used to date a marine biologist? She's an astronaut. Algae farms are the key to sustainable, healthy living beneath the sea. Commercial and industrial algae cultivation is already used in a number of products, from colorants to pharmaceuticals. I wonder what algae tastes like. Probably kale. Ugh, I hate kale. The Earth is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. Let's go to the main hall. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. Using a shape memory alloy, or memory metal, Oscorp scientists created this prototype of a metal that could change its shape while maintaining integrity. One day, memory metal could be used in many types of machinery, and even in your own home. Whoa, check it out! Metal that changes shape. I like the idea, but it looks kind of basic. Bet it could be improved. Architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. This model home would protect human inhabitants from the low temperatures on Mars. Check it out! You want a house on Mars? Sure. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, sampler... They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. Oh, come on, it's just button mashing. So you admit defeat? Never. Oh, faster! Come on, Rocket Buddy! Go, 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 Oscorp program, adapted for models currently used on the moon, can be operated as a man or unmanned vehicle. Used to carry minerals and find water sources. Scans for minerals, carries people across toxic wastelands. What can't it do? Can you imagine driving this thing down fifth? Move, pedestrians. <laughs> this model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars, our closest neighbor in the solar system. This community is designed to draw on abundant water and counteract low temperatures, making human life possible on the Red Planet. It's like a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. Solar energy, already popular on Earth, could provide heat and electricity for space Ooh, stations. Shiny. Shiny? Those are portable adhesive solar panels. Ooh, portable shiny. Portable solar cells can be. Take a sticker. Would you ever move to space? The government and privately owned spacecraft explore our planet, solar system, and galaxy. To communicate with them, 
Scientists use radio antennas to send and receive messages across local and interstellar space. Whoa. I bet the sound quality on these are dope. Not from space. When's Rick gonna get here? He just texted. He said he was headed into the subway. So it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours? Basically. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um, our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right, but see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Can't just break it. Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones would work. But they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum map. This stuff is crazy. You think it's a meta material? Must be. That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, oh, man. Oh. Sorry. All good. I still need something reflective. Did you call Dad back? He's gonna need to the extra. Welcome to the Oscorp Science Center, where tomorrow's innovation is today's reality. Oh, hey, look. Solar mirrors. And sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light sensitive lock. I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker's pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. Project awaits. That was awesome. I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us. Seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Finn says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay, we'll get a picture. Love you, Dad. Bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Think they got a converter all hooked up? Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. The Oscorp Science Station. 
Positioned at one of two stable Lagrange points between Earth and the Moon, could one day be a permanent home for human scientists and explorers. Man, it'd be so cool to live on a space station. Nuclear energy is the key to our future as we explore interstellar space. Fuel efficiency and transportation will be vital components in reaching and settling planets at the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. Oscorp nuclear reactor. Rick's working on something that's supposed to make nuclear energy obsolete. Do we get to know what it is? Nope. Roxon's keeping it super secret. Cultivating agriculture in nutrient-enriched fluids, what we call hydroponics... I wonder if they can grow flowers in space. In space They're reality. probably more interested in food. Why? You trying to impress someone? I like to be prepared. In case I get a crush on a cute astronaut. <laughs> okay. One of humanity's greatest accomplishments came from the Apollo space program. We reached the moon. Since then, scientists have dreamed of traveling Lunar module from the Apollo program. Hey, we can name our time capsule after that. How many Apollo missions were there? 16... 17, I think. Apollo 18. I like it. Our project... Oh, we! Would you look at that? Genuine award winning scientists. No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, huddle up. We need a picture. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles! I am not saying that. Done listening to you. I had to tell her what happened to the reactor. Roxxon tank. Both of that Apollo are blocked. Where are you? Near your apartment. I'm trying to find shelter. Get to Dale's bodega. I'll be there soon. We'll keep everyone safe as long as we can. Gotta take care of them before I head back to Harlem. Oh! 
get to Harlem. Now, before Finn destroys the reactor. <laughs> 